Okay, so uh, just another example here using a double angle identity. So suppose we're given that tangent of x is 5 thirds, x is in the first quadrant, we want to find sine of 2x. Well again, we can write sine of 2x as sine of x plus x. And now going back to our identity, it says we have sine of x plus, well in this case, another x. It says we'll get sine of x times cosine x plus cosine x times sine x. But, you know, this is multiplication now. Uh, you know, sine times cosine, cosine times sine. It doesn't matter the order in which we write it. So we've got a sine times a cosine, another sine times a cosine. So it says we get the identity 2 sine x times cosine x. Uh, so the identity for sine of 2x is simply 2 sine x uh, times cosine x. And again, this is definitely an important identity. Use it quite a bit. Okay, well, we still have to figure out values for sine and values for cosine. We're given that tangent is 5 thirds. So again, I'm just going to make a little right triangle. So there's my angle x. Uh, again, tangent is going to be the opposite, which we'll label as 5, over the adjacent, which is going to be 3. So now we'll have to figure out the hypotenuse. Um, so we'll call that h for hypotenuse. Well, 5 squared plus 3 squared would equal h squared. This is going to be 25 plus 9, which is going to give us 34. And then we could simply take the square root of both sides. Again, normally you get positive and negative, but again, I'm realizing that we're talking about the hypotenuse, so I'm just keeping the positive solution. So we've got the square root of 34 as the length of our hypotenuse. You can't really break this down. I mean, you could factor it as 2 times 17, but 17 is prime. So you can't really factor you know, any whole numbers out. So I'm just going to leave it square root of 34. Um, but now we can read everything off that we need. We've got sine times cosine. So Remember, sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. Cosine is going to be the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So it simply says sine is going to be 5 over the square root of 34. Cosine is going to be 3 over the square root of 34. You can think about all this as being over 1. So in the numerator, we have 2 times 5 times 3 over, well, in the denominator, square root of 34 times the square root of 34 is 34. And this is why I didn't really bother to multiply things out, because I saw, well, there's going to be an even number uh, in the denominator. 2 over 34, that'll simply reduce to 1 over 17. We'll be left with the 5 times 3, which is 15. And that, to me, would be our, our value. Uh, I would say 15 over 17 is going to be our solution.